Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we come this morning grateful for the dawning of a new day, a dawning of a day, Lord, that means so much to us, so much to the world. Not a day when you proved that death is not the end, that death does not have the victory, that resurrection is true, resurrection is real, and that you are our Lord and our risen Savior. And as we've gathered in this place, Lord, among these, our friends, our family, those who are with us, those who've gone on before us to join the great cloud of witnesses, God, we pray that we are mindful, you make us mindful of that coming day of our own resurrection when we will rejoin them and you in the eternal glory of your kingdom. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? And when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone. For they were afraid. We're gathered here in this place as we do every year. And maybe you got here a little earlier and in a few moments you'll walk around, you'll look, and you'll see names you know. You'll see graves where the grass still hasn't quite grown yet. And then you'll see names you don't know. You'll see stones that have been here for so long the names are almost unrecognizable. You'll see dates that seem so close dates it seems so far away they're hard to imagine there'll be people you know your mother your father your brother your sister your children your aunts your uncles in this place and I once heard a man after we had a, a service here say to me he goes you know a cemetery it's the last place you'll ever buy a plot of land because you move in and you don't move out but this morning tells us that's not true 
that there's coming a day when this place will be empty. When we will move out. When we will see all of these people again. People we don't know, we'll go, oh, that's what they look like. People we've never met, we'll meet them in the glory and the splendor of Christ's eternal resurrection. And on that first morning, when the women went to the tomb, Mark tells us that they left and told no one because they were afraid. But we also know that's not true. Because we know that they had to tell somebody. And we'll go out from this place this morning. We'll go over to the church. We'll have breakfast. We'll have worship this morning. But let us not be afraid. Let's not be afraid of whatever may come, what death may come, what trials may come. For if this morning teaches us anything, it said after night comes the morning. After death, there comes the resurrection. After every down, there comes an up. For every good Friday, thanks be to God, there is an Easter morning. Would you pray with me? Holy God, we are so awestruck at the reality that this morning brings. And we know, Lord, that behind the clouds there's the sun. That behind death there's resurrection. That behind the night there is the morning. And so, God, we are thankful that we can be in a place like this and know, and know God, that it is not forever. But there is coming a day when these graves will be empty. Resurrection will come for all of us. And the eternity of your kingdom will be real for everyone. So Lord, help us to be mindful of that this day. To celebrate in the joy of Easter, of your resurrection, and what it means for us, for all of humankind. Give us that joy in this morning, we pray, O Christ, in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.